be as, uh, as fluid to you. But regardless, we are finally into our last game of the night. A lot on the line for Cerberus. Or, excuse me, for Cerberus. Uh, <laughs> they, are, uh, they are in. For but for Cerberus? Signal. But for si hey, it's been a long day, okay? Yeah, it has. Been yelling about Sick Dota plays. Uh, but for Signal Ultra, they do have to win this game in order to advance. Yeah. Apologies for Rapid's voice crack because we've been here for 10 hours. Has right. it really been well, 10 yeah, hours? It, well, yeah. Yeah, just about. Yep. It has uh, let's been see, roughly I think 10 it's, hours. Uh, it's been 11 hours. <laughs> well, yeah, to be precise, like including the time that we actually got That's to right, the studio. That's right, but broadcasting on yeah, air. Bro yeah, broadcasting probably like roughly like eight to nine hours maybe. It's been nine hours uh -huh. exactly on air. But, Whew. Yeah. What a, what a time to be alive. All right. Well, hey, for the first time in a long time, we have Io mm -hmm. uh, out here. And let's see how we're going to start things out. Obviously, it comes down to the bounty runes, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any uh, any contesting this time around. It's going to be two down bottom. We'll go to Cerberus and two up top to Signal Ultra. All right. Well, they do meet at the bottom side. The Io. You know, it's always good when one of your uh, teammate plays the IO and, you know, tethers to you, but I never like playing the IO. It's kind of boring. Uh, yeah, it is a it's little... Like you have to be that type, you know, the type of person to actually like this kind of hero. You know, mm -hmm. like their personalities, right? And I'm not the personality to play the IO, unfortunately. Well, it can be a little bit action-packed, especially when you need to, you know, relocate your heroes all the way around the map. Uh, you need to switch off your tethers. You got to control your wisps. There can be a lot to do. Maybe, uh, maybe, yeah. The reason might be because it it has to. You have to do so many things. You have to be <laughs> aware of the map at all times. You know, you can't just look at it once in a while. Like you have to be aware of it. And look at this banished right off the bat here. I didn't realize that the tether stayed through. Yeah. yeah. Uh, through the banish, mm -hmm. I thought you were uh, removed from this world. Well, yeah. You are, but I guess uh, it <laughs> can't take that dingleberry off. Well, we're we're all learning yeah. uh, a little bit here, uh, but a as is. Let's see, yeah. uh, mid lane storm spirit versus I guess Ember. Mm -hmm. Not uh, not every day you get to see the spirits go head to head, but uh, I'm excited to see a storm spirit for the first time tonight. Yep. Well, we have been seeing a lot of the the Ember spirit, so it's not going to be too new. We're going to just see two. Fat spirit looking dudes just zipping around. But here we go. Troll oh pushed my out. Goodness. Every every little hit is just going to hurt so much with Luna. And even as they level up, the buff, the aura are it, it's gonna stack up. Well in the regen, you can't mm -hmm. fight against that. You're just gonna uh, get out healed. Mm -hmm. So uh sorry, this is not not gonna help. Yep. Uh, I mean sure you got to nope, you know, Abadonger's not gonna be enough. I, I mean Mist Coil is cool, but yeah, the mana pool is just <laughs> not there. Yeah. We'll see how this plays out, but yeah, Mars is going to be busy fighting uh, his illusions every time he get banished. Chen is kind of literally just playing the support role here, just keeping uh, Mars safe. More of a straightforward game here. Oh, okay. He has shield. If this pops... Yeah, they know not to attack oh, it. There yep. it is. Oh, yeah. The damage so much, but just look at the regen. You're yeah. Ugh. It doesn't cost mana. That's <laughs> so stupid. Okay, yeah, yeah. Io's pretty good. Uh, and now that they're back up at full health, they can go back and be annoying again. Goodness. Abaddon, I feel bad for you. I mean, he's Troll trying to, He's trying to get it done, but, you know, it's, it's harder oh, than it Oh, here we go. Yeah, One lands, there's... Two oh. lands, three, four, five. All five land from wow. the Io. Okay. Amazing. Those Lucent Beams, like, you yeah. really got to respect them. They cost a lot of mana, so it's not like you have to deal with them all the time. But when you least expect it, that could be it. And actually here, oh, top lane. Oh, one Chen, one more. And that is uh, Van. Yeah, Grabbing Razor. Him. First blood. All right. Well, Signal Ultra, they are playing their, their hearts out. Not saying that Cerberus isn't, but Signal, they have to win. And remember, keep that in mind, guys. If Cerberus, uh, if Signal loses, they don't yeah. get second. In the background, uh, uh, Abaddon uh, uh, denied himself to oh, creeps, okay. so I'm not sure what was going well, on he, there. He is alive, though. Did he already get back? Yeah, he spawned and okay. teleported back in. All right, well, Ember versus Storm. This bot lane is actually a little, Oh, I don't think he was supposed to break the tether, but yeah, got to stay a little bit closer than that. 
Doing a good it, job at least high. keeping this uh, uh, Troll Warlord down. Eight and six mm -hmm. is definitely not 19 and four. Oh, yeah. If, if, uh, if you get my, my drift. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so get your drift. And right now they're pulling a little bit. They're kind of keeping the, the Abaddon and the troll, uh, troll on heels just in case for a gank. But obviously, you know, they're going to be calling out. They have 2v2 at top lane as well. So, you know, they're not worried about uh, a crazy gank coming through. However, still, pulling your lane to keep them in front of your tower, you know, managing a lane is very important here, uh, especially when this match means so much to both teams. Oh, now Troll forced to run oh, back. There There's the losing beam, but... Stick charges. How do they work? They're pretty good. Yep, they're, that's going to keep them alive. Abaddon comes through. This is just to annoy. Yeah, a Botic Shield yeah. popping. That just feels bad. But there's a Lucent Beam. Just trading their damage right back oh. at you. IO. Oh, it gets blocked by the tree, yep. but the that's, that's how Tether works. Mm -hmm. But hey, uh, you know, mana's starting to get a little bit low. Mm -hmm. Attacks to there in that lane. And I mean, Troll Warlord. No problems for him. It's pretty high health. Yep. But the poke damage is the, the, the right clicks landing. It's going to eventually send the troll home and the Abaddon as well. Okay, the Storm and the Abaddon. Yeah, Storm okay. really neutered early game by a low mana pool. Uh, yeah. it, I mean, it does have a bottle already, so that's mm -hmm. you know nice. But it's not going to be uh, the total uh, solution to uh, the problem, see what the Courier's bringing. Another Wraith ban for Luna. Yep. Wait, what? why did Ab Abaddon deny himself again? <laughs> That's so weird. What happened? Uh, I don't know, I haven't been keeping an eye on that. We got oh the spin. Oh my Is goodness. there a win? One more click One more. on him, he's oh. going for it. But it's not enough. Look at that regen. Yeah. So insane. Oh my goodness. This IO. Plus four, plus four, yeah. plus four, plus four. Well, plus now four. that the now that there was a gank at the bottom, top lane will have a little bit more of a fun time here if Chen does come in for a little bit more damage. Nothing is going to happen, unfortunately, even with him gone. Shadow Demon's gank almost worked. Almost, yeah, almost. but... Uh, yeah. Seems like they're switching lanes. Uh, Abaddon is going top. When we last left our heroes, suddenly Rays are almost dead. But uh, don't worry. Just going to get that uh, Mist Coil. Mm -hmm. Helping right. him out. Well, the Shadow Demon coming to bot and switching lanes with Abaddon might have been a better choice than it. No. Delusions oh. kind of poking through to Io and Luna. I love it. Storm getting that uh, haste rune. Uh, not only, when, every time you pick up a rune and put it in your bottle, it refills yeah, the bottle. Of so uh, it gives him just so, so much mana. And, and if you can get early mana sources as a, as a storm. Oh, here we go. Storm goes in for the Abaddon. And you get a pulled in shield, but yeah, gone. not enough. So nice on the board is Cerberus. They are fighting to knock right. Signal Ultra out of the tournament, essentially. Storm out of there. Spear against the wall. He'll be safe for now. We have Chen coming in. Yeah, no, Mars is pretty resilient. Oh. That God's Rebuke and Bulwark, but it's not enough. Storm ran away way too early. Like, he could have stayed kind yeah. of around and then ran away at the end. But if before he died, he spent all of his unreliable gold mm -hmm. um, on those uh, yeah. treads. So, or not treads, but the... Um, oh, he's going to go for it. Oh, Abaddon. Another one. A lot of mana spent. Pulls oh. in. But this is, it's not going to get a kill because yeah, he he's out of mana. mana. Yeah, he's out of bottle charges. So, ah, There it goes. And once again, we're starting to see kind of the limitations uh, of that storm. Yeah, and uh, if you spirit. notice, uh, even with all these uh, harasses coming through. Oh, oh the, the close. The, the spin. Luna. Oh, but the, uh, the loosened oh, beast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so close. The IO, One the more. ticks, the sticks. Oh, the stick actually procs and. Oh, it's oh. In again. No! But he does go down. The trade kill, and he can't actually fight because he get, if he gets uh, disrupted again, then yeah. that would just uh, uh -huh. that'd be it. The ranged illusion of IO will demolish himself, so. That's not the fight that you want to wow. be fighting. A one for one. This is crazy. Yeah. I love how close this is. Yeah, and I also, before that fight started, look at the CS for Luna and Troll Warlord. They're tied 
26 26 so regardless even. yeah regardless of how much harass it oh there's the disruption again oh my goodness. this time it's too much both of them go down oh my goodness they don't respect the spin that's actually a, a really big deal because every anytime you just lose everything in the lane that's just a third of the xp on the map that you're just not getting earn All right next big item completed mm. Chen kind of struggling here. What is happening? Right now, uh, Team Unicorn in the background is definitely cheering for Cerberus because if if this goes on like this and Signal wins, Team Unicorn gets pushed out to third place and they don't want that. They would want to go to China, but here we go, Stone Spirit with Ayo. Wait, was that Ayo? Yeah, with Ayo and Mars, they want to secure it and they get two kills. The Arena of Blood coming through Cerberus. Closer and closer, evening up the gold differential. Early on, maybe not that big a difference. But certainly early kills and help get that snowball rolling. Mm -hmm. The Storm Spirit, oh my goodness. It's the it's one of the most annoying heroes if played right. And I don't play him because I don't know how to play him right. But yeah, seeing how he's being played right now, uh, it makes me so happy. Yeah, and the biggest thing about Storm, not only that early mana pool problems, but the counterplay once the mobility comes through. Oh, no, you're kidding me. Yes, you are. Uh, wow, not even Io can get you out of there. And I think oh even my Io God, dead and Io there. dies again. See, this is the thing. Io, all in one support, but remember the Did word support. He is squishy. Yeah. Squishy and the shadow poison there, just really mm -hmm. too much for even him to regen through. Uh, Going to get some extra XP from that tome, but... Oh, really, things starting to get a little bit rough here as Signal Ultra's comp starts to really come into their own. Clearly, that uh, Troll Warlord, just such a powerful pick for their team. Definitely, Troll Warlord has been one of the most picked that we've seen, or even banned. So we'll see if that will make the difference here in this game. But the Shadow Demon doing its work as well. Uh, ever since that uh, lane swap uh, from top to bottom, it's been working out for them against that Luna IO combination. Yeah, uh, I mean, even after, uh, before, after the swap, just hasn't been IO's day. Storm Spirit, knowing exactly how to play this mid lane, especially with it frozen in the uh, low ground, doesn't really present any opportunities on either side. Unfortunately, though. The Ember Spirit has a way higher net worth. Yeah, well, it's just kills that came yeah. through earlier. Not really going to be able to compete with that. Uh, just farm. All right. Here we go. Troll finally uh, going over Luna in net worth. They were pretty close. Smoke up, trying to come around in to get another kill on this IO. Oh, my gosh, they see, they see. oh but I love the oh, whiz. Oh, they get hit. Banished. Uh, yeah, go but it's going to come oh out goodness, and trying to tether away, but it gets stuck. Oh, yeah. There's you the last hit. You have two ranged IO illusions attacking you. Ah, so. mm, ah. Hard to get away from that. You don't. If you're IO, you just have to be super safe. You have to have your jungles warded because it's, you know, IO is so squishy. They're just going to keep harassing the IO. You know, the, the Wisps almost revealed through the smoke, but yeah. oh, actually, here we go. Storm Spirit in and out of there. And that's all of his mana, too. So uh, going to have to figure out some way to get it. Now, you can bottle crow and send the bottle back to base to refill it and then bring it back if there's uh, you know room on the courier. But you know he's not choosing to do that. What is the move? I get, Oh, regen rune in the river. This nice. is so perfect. That's like the best of the best, especially for Storm. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to have a party when he activates that uh, regen rune. Yeah, because Storm could spend his entire mana pool and keep that regen rune running basically forever. Yeah. Until it actually runs out, but here we go. They want to try something, but Razor smells something coming. Oh, uh, here comes storm, the storm. But banished by the Shadow Demon. This is why he was picked. That's so good. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely huge there, stopping that storm in his tracks. Now, late game, you're not going to be able to banish everybody. Mm -hmm. So you know, you're going to have to pick your targets a little bit more wisely. Yeah. But when it's the storm going in for the initiation, easy banish target. All right, well. Thoughts, cares, comments, concerns. 
Okay, that's one of them. No banish this time, or is there? Oh, there is. There but is, but it's not in time. Yeah, it's definitely way too late. And away. Yep. Away we go. Shadow Poison doesn't matter, because the regen's coming in from Io. Very, very well played. The Storm Spirit, really kind of secretly the MVP. I thought it was going to be the Luna, maybe the Mars, but no. Storm Spirit really coming through. Again, Chen is basically invisible to me. I'm still confused uh, about what's happening here. TP's out. How good is that? Wow, Perfect. Mars. Thought he was dead for sure. Mm -hmm. But with a nice skewer, he's able to use that Spear of Mars mm -hmm. to get himself back to base. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I never thought that the Luna will be the MVP, at least not in the early game. But look at this. Oh, are we going to see this again? I mean, I think he knows that he might just get banished, but... No, 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 no. Are we going in for more? Yeah, because he already got banished, so he knows he's free as long as he has mana, and he gets that double kill and comes out alive, Sept no problem. Yeah, Scepter giving him a lot of int there, along with the treads, so... We're really starting to see that mana pool rise, and with it, the potential. Storm, mm -hmm. going where he pleases so far. Goodness gracious. All right, this Abaddon, definitely not enough to keep uh, his team from not dying. I mean, you know, he, he does have ult, so let's not get it twisted. Borrowed time is one great way to save, uh, I guess, really anyone. Uh, especially Storm, because the damage is so gradual, it's just going to heal you all the way up to full. And he, he can't really keep it going because he just doesn't have a gigantic mana pool. So, Bounty Rune on the way out. Yep. And boom goes the Dynamite. They're both going to bottle it. All right, so it's super close right now, uh, at least just by looking at the kills. And even the net worth difference as a team, it's only 2K difference, not a huge difference. 15 minutes in mm -hmm. this game. It, it definitely does feel like a finals. Oh, today. yeah, for yeah. sure. It, this is the ultimately valuable game of the day. The most meaningful one of them all. I'm just so glad that we finally figured out which uh, oh my teams goodness, are Chen. so good. Yeah. Oh, Chen. Oh, man. He's a centaur to stun, but it's not going to be good enough. Nope. I mean, he could have hand of got it there at the end. But let's look at the arena of yeah. blood. Oh. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. And another... Blood for the Blood God, or the God of War, as it is. Mm -hmm. What is the actual wow. Mars title? It's like First Son of Heaven or something. What a badass. Oh, my goodness. But, hey, we talked about the uh, the sun. It doesn't get much <laughs> more uh, brighter. Oh, and a DD rune. As if Ember Spirit needed any help. As if Troll Warlord needed any help. And the last hit. That's going to be the tower down. Ooh, skewer spear Mars. into the wall, and especially even or even rather, yeah. with that just whoop, poked him to death. Yep, self banish is not gonna mega kill. Mega what? How did that happen? Storm spirit going oh. off. Oh, we saw the double kill come through before, and he was picking up here uh, ganks uh, successes here and there. So. Oh my gosh. And battle of the spirits, storm and ember, right up there at the top of the net worth graph. Troll oh, Warlord, mm -hmm. not far below, but I mean, that's Storm Spirit really just almost single handedly keeping Cerberus in the game. We'll see if uh, that will be enough to keep them in the game because as time passes, I don't really even truly care for Ember Spirit because we already know how uh, dangerous it could be, but we also know that Troll Warlord. Being up there in the net worth graph in second place is the scarier part as time passes by. So, and oh man! Oh my God! Sangiyasha already created. Wow. Uh. Well, that troll warlord is just about to hit some scary critical mass. Oh my goodness! Already working towards me on here. Uh, is the Ember Spirit too? Some big, big item breakpoints starting to come through. But hey, uh, you know Luna, also starting to get mm -hmm. uh, you know major, major items. Her uh, herself. Uh, was that a uh, Hurricane Pike that I saw completed? I'm sure I missed out. I only saw it yeah. for like a split yeah. second. Oh, no, it was actually the uh, Dragon Lance. Yeah, My yeah, bad. Yeah. They actually look pretty similar. But uh, yeah, so that's her attack range getting even, even longer. Along with a bunch of stacks. But uh, yeah, 140, that's going to be. Uh, Ooh, they smoked up. Be very quiet. 
The Chen creep. Oh, did he sense the static field? Oh, there it is. The engage, Ooh, the catch the on the Chen. Uh, yeah, oh, you are dead, my friend. Oh my gosh. And they spend a lot to get that kill, though. Can they find oh, another one? Continuing. Yes. Oh, the heals come through. The tether the not Ayo enough. goes down. The Luna goes oh, down. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Tragedy strikes and Signal Ultra. Find three. Was that four? Yeah, Chen with the buyback. Oh, my goodness. Man, off of one pick on the Chen, they find four. And the funny thing is, Mars had an idea as well as Chen, and you saw Mars run away. Yeah, Mars pieced the yeah. scene. Yeah, he left the scene. He's like, I'm piecing out. But the funny thing is, the rest of the teammates, they should have known. They should have heard the call out. Yeah. But this is the power of Storm Spirit. They run in, even though you know you want to run. If he invests his mana, he can catch up to you no matter how fast you run. Buyback coming through uh, from uh, Dog Brain, but I'm not sure if there's really any counterplay. Just got to get back out on the map. Anytime you die like that, it's not the the worst part is not that you all died. The worst part is that you can't get any money for such a long time. So you have to get way out there on the map. Shadow Poison doesn't even need that. Yeah. It's gonna be Van picking not a, not up the kill crushed. on the Dog Brain. That, he bought back for that. He bought back to die. Yeah, the dieback yeah. for real. Uh, and now Chen completely off the map, off the board. 6K net worth lead. Signal Ultra, I think this is probably the, you know, not the beginning of the end, but it's certainly starting to feel that way. Troll Warlord just, I mean, once you let this guy get a an inch, he takes a mile to use yep. Imperialist units. All right, so he is, look at the wards. The Signal Ultra going all out on the wards offensively and defensively. Keeping oh, and there's tabs. all those, those, uh, those bottled bounty runes getting picked okay. up. They're just keeping tabs on every single thing. And most of Cerberus is at bot. Io and Luna does come towards mid, but that's already too late. Top tier two tower down. What a mess. Um, you know, it's not over, but hey, Roche is one way to get it closer to being that way. Uh, I don't really even think there's much uh, counterplay here. Chen way back in base, although with the Io relocate, this could be a little bit more dangerous. There's the Storm Spirit into the pit and out again yeah, and back. Distract. That's still a lot of mana to spend. Actually, uh -huh. his entire mana pool out of there. He's going to regen that pretty quickly. I think he had a rune or something. But either way, uh, he just wanted to kind of buy time, just let them know that they know that they're yeah. rushing. So definitely bought the time. And Signal Ultra got the signal yeah. from the Storm Spirit. They left. They're going to regroup. Yep, for sure. Oh, they do regroup. They smoke up, and now keeping an eye on that. Uh, they are on a ward, but it can't see them. And there's the ward that sees them. Oh, oh they're caught. They find a pick again. It's Chen. Oh, my goodness. And what is it with Chen's today? It's just Chen's. It's what Chen's do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Chen's do best. Yeah. Nobody can do it better. He even takes out the Chen creep, too. So it's, there's just no remnant of this hero out on the map at all. And especially with Troll Warlord. I mean, Roche is just going to drop like a fly. They're waiting to go in there. I think they actually want to go for oh it. There's the Storm Spirit into the pit and back out again. Mars wants to go in. There's the oh, pit. The banish. Yeah, and he's going to get in there. He's going to get so Mars much. Who gets in. it? Who gets it? It's Sari. He gets the Aegis at the last second. Oh, my goodness. And this is just going to go from bad to worse here for uh, Cerberus. I mean, they're trying to get the IO escape, but it's just not worth it. The shadow. Uh. Uh. Oh, screen lag. Camera, hang. Uh, oh, okay, oh. well, that is just a, a very climactic moment to have a screen issue. Um, I'm not totally sure what the uh, the protocol is here, but, uh, hmm. Well, oh. I mean, we can talk about what just happened. So basically, last second moment, Roche is going down. You got to go. Do or die. Storm Spirit goes in, realizes, ugh, it's a second too early. But then Mars really MVPs it, heads right in there. And the arena of blood just so huge. The skewer against the wall from the spear, immaculate. But the last second, Troll Warlord grabs the Aegis and is able to revive. If, if that had gone any different way, maybe Mars gets the Aegis, right? Oh, and my goodness. That, that would have been hell. Or actually, if Luna had clicked on it, she would have uh, revived instead of dying. 
And, and as is, they did manage to kill, uh, or was it, was it, um, I think it was Ember Spirit that got the Aegis. Uh, I wasn't, it was in the heat of the moment. I wasn't listening to what my heart was telling me. <laughs> but either way, um, we'll have to see what happens with the screen uh, issue here. I guess they just turned off in the middle of that, obviously. Uh, well, they said screen lag, so mm. I'm, uh, like, it's understandable because, you know, they're not all playing in their, you know, respective computers. They don't have the graphic settings as uh, they wanted. I'm pretty sure they, uh, because this is a tournament, everybody has the same settings, and they are in an internet No, cafe. no, you can change your custom settings. Uh, you it, yeah. In, in the rules, they, they say that you can change any uh, acceptable settings, which okay. is like regular in-game settings, but you're not allowed to, like, you know, hack it or something like that. Um, okay. Like you can you can change like your the side of the the map or the, the screen that your map is on or, or things like that. My screen color is off though. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hopefully you can get that fixed up. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult to have that. All right. Well, you know, I was just gonna say, you know, there was so much going on in front of Rosh. They were all. They were going all in for that Aegis, mm -hmm. and that could have caused that slight lag, slight lag spike, <laughs> rather. Like, it's just it's a surprise that a Korean internet cafe would actually, you know, lag spike. Well, I, you know, it happens to the best of us uh, from mm -hmm. time to time. The the issue is that it's just you know right in the heat of the moment. So, uh, I mean, you can just see it on your screen. Sari, um, I believe Sari was the one to pick up the. Uh, was it Sarah that got the Aegis? I wasn't able to keep an eye on that. But anyway, all that to say that at the end of the day, Troll Warlord for Luna, I think that's a pretty good trade for Cerberus. Yep. But oh, here, here we go. go. We're right back in the game. 3-2-1. Here we go. Uh, Banish is actually very crucial, but I think and Mars should be okay, right? But Storm Spirit died right when this uh, happened here at Mars. Knocking it back yeah. with the Bulwark, trying to tether him away. The relocate, the reheal. Nope. Not in time. All right, so... Four man down. Well, Chen dying is not a surprise. Yeah. Oh my God. Are they going to actually commit yet? Yeah, they are going to commit. Oh, oh yeah, right. especially with the lightning field. That Good. is it. Basically, a five man kill, an ace happened, the buyback happened from Storm Spirit as well they as Io, but it was a in dieback. One by one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a huge turning point in the game. Even with that troll warlord dead, the rest of the team don't need him. Are able to go forward for high ground. All right, well, uh, that was a huge fight, a huge loss for Cerberus. They're going to lose tier Banish. threes here. Banished in the background, maybe looking for oh more. They, they look for a catch. They get the this snare and they relocate it out of there. But uh, Storm Spirit still dead. Oh, my goodness. The tier three does go down. Whoa. They're are they going to commit? They are going to try to Chen, Chen dead, Chen dead. Yep, Chen dies in the background. Oh, my goodness. There Mars. is the Arena of Blood. Uh, very well used. Does pick up a kill, but it's only on the support. Shadow Demon dead. Yeah, the dire uh, melee barracks go down in the meantime. So they do sacrifice uh, the Shadow Demon and get the melee barracks. I think it's worth it in a way here because they already got the Tier 3 in this one push. They didn't have to go home and then come back. Oh, yeah, yeah for they sure. They committed to that. And, you know, losing that one uh, fight after committing to a Tier 3 and a melee barracks is not too bad of a trade here. But they're already 12K uh, net worth ahead. Uh, yeah, no, 12K. And, and it's mm -hmm. all on their carries. It's every, exactly where you want it to be. Troll Warlord killing it. Uh, even finally, Razor starting yeah. to really uh, come into his own. We haven't really talked too much about him. He's doing his thing in the background. It's just too much uh, going on with Ember Spirit and Troll Warlord. Pipe. And Storm Spirit. Yeah. This is the active item carry. Pipe, rod, mm -hmm. drums, stick, shoes. Everything, but hey, let's not forget the comeback potential is still real. Luna late game's insane. Storm Spirit can make picks happen anywhere, anytime, and uh, we're almost done with the cooldown on that arena of blood. So that has been a huge, huge ult for Cerberus to make uh, and take control of the game so far. Yep, the potential is still there. The game is not over. They're going to try to go for this tier one. They want to get the tower down, get some money, make some money, catch up, uh, bring this to the late game. It's 25 minutes in. 
we could potentially play for another 30 minutes. So we'll see if Cerberus will be able to stay alive for that long to kind of even things up here. Trying to guard the bounty runes. They do so successfully. Pick themselves up a couple. They're trading turrets here, but ah, ugh, this is starting to get dangerous. Troll Warlord can almost just like force a, a, a return to base by himself. You can't even call this a trade uh, in tower. They are still work, uh, working on this tier one here. Finally, they give up the tier two uh, tower for a tier one tower. So it's not even that much worth. However, Cerberus, they have no choice. They can't go there to defend it to start a team fight. So yeah, um, you know what? You didn't have much choice here. So we'll let that go. Invisibility and DD, uh, well, that might be somewhat oh, strong. Rooted. Ember Spirit, oh no. He's gonna Tethers be able to away, tether bro. away, but I don't think he's oh. getting out of this one. Yeah. One, two, three. A mega kill streak for Van. All right, well, this is just gonna keep the three of them, the Troll Warlord, Ember Spirit, and Razor at the top of the network. All three from Signal Ultra. They wanna win this no matter <laughs> what. <laughs> Lightning or the yeah. sure, just out of there. Yep. Able to ball lightning away, but uh, I mean, I, Mars is pretty strong at this point. Uh, but he, he might not have a, a lot of net worth, but he's still like functionally very powerful. Um, they just need Luna to just get crazy buffed up. Yeah, and Io to be alive. Mm -hmm. um, well, like to be honest, like Io, I think is doing a lot better compared to what Chen is doing. You think? Yeah, so far. Like Chen, yeah, yeah he's dewarding. I, I mean, know, he's Chen's he's support, so you yeah. kind of like assume that it's going to die. He's, he's mostly just out there to get jungle control, uh, vision, uh, just creep control. I, I mean, it's not, uh, not unheard of. Maybe I missed it, but so far, at least in my eyes, I haven't seen a good Centaur stun coming from the minions that you're right, uh, Chen you're right. has brought in. Uh, it's like, a fair critique. It's yeah. been a difficult, uh, difficult day for Chen's <laughs> across the board. Kind of grouping up at mid. Don't know if uh, Cerberus is ready to go into a team fight yet. Mars is level 15. Mm, uh, yeah, may need a few more of those. Uh, just trying to hang back and not get uh, you know outflanked uh, by Signal Ultra. But they do need to keep Luna farming, so she pushed the Ooh, tier the, one oh in the safe lane. They do get caught. He does oh get no, vanished. Shadow Poison Sari. And uh, rooted. Gets yeah, pushed this back is though. Definitely gonna be it. Um, I mean he tries the bulwark and he's almost able to push it back, but yeah. the Shadow Demon, a perfect pick to get these perfect picks. Alright. Perfect, yeah. I, I see what you did there, but uh, I did. We just watched it in, in action. And now going high ground, uh, I mean backdoor protection, what's that? Tell me more. Well, yeah. uh, oh, lightning spirit in and out. Glyph. Buyback does happen from Mars, but will that be enough to protect this tier three? Of course not. Oh man, this is just gonna and be so tough. Are they gonna go in and try to defend these racks? I mean, obviously it's it nice, is. but look at that. Even with the arena of blood, is Mars in his home field? Or is he stuck in there nope. with then? A banish Full comes health, through, reason. and even with the MKB, it's not enough. One, two, three, they're all dying a buyback for Luna, but is that even going to be enough? I don't think the Luna buyback will be enough. And this Storm Spirit just going back and forth from the fountain, not making too much of a dent onto Signal Ultra right now. And they will not stop there. This Troll Warlord just absolutely insane. I, I think at this point, th it's all Signal Ultra all the time. They have taken their destiny in their own hands. They have to win this to claim their spot as the second place team in oh the WCG Shan Grand Finals. And they are just moments away from making it happen. Signal Ultra wants to be the one to go there as the first place seed. They don't want Team Unicorn to be up there with them. Man, the Sword Spirit just doing as much as he possibly can. In and out, in and out, back and forth, trying consistently to make this happen. But Oh my goodness, just too much distance, oh. causing, causing too much mana. Stunned up, here. taken out, and that's, it's all over but the crying at this point. Ending life, we're about to uh, end their lives here. Signal Ultra, they are all reach. alive. And even with the Arena of Blood, there's only one arena and there's only one team bleeding. Lashrak outside, he's just DPSing from afar. 
And that is just going to be kill after kill. Godlike, someone killed him! I can't do it. Yeah. And with only one tier four left, uh, I certainly think that we are about to witness the end of this core, the end of the ancient here. Oh, They're going the for the glory Lord. kills. Oh my goodness. As They're... if he needed more. This is going to be it. Signal GG. Ultra taking the win here, claiming their spot.